I'm not trying to build your hope up, although I'd like to, but Australia is, a very, is going to be a very safe place in 2040 as far as natural disasters are concerned. Now, problems you're going to have for, from land to pirates and uh, 100 million starving Asians is going to be a different story. If they're going to get on ships and come as far as Australia, I don't know. But, yeah, Asia, this next Phoenix Cataclysm in 2040, Southeast Asia, China, all the way up into the Koreas to Mongolia, Mongolia into Sib the, the far eastern Siberia is going to be the worst and hardest hit of the, of the next Phoenix episode. And it's simply because of the 30 degree pole shift rotation the lithosphere is going to take. Agre I, I'm agreeing that this is a simulation, but even the simulation obeys fixed laws. And it's going to move 30 degrees just like it's moved the last time 30 degrees just like the great pyramid today is 30 degrees north latitude for a reason at the 30 degree east meridian line there's a the reason for that is because the earth has moved so, more evidence that the earth has moved in, you know, from its place is that the sphinx does not does not point true east if you ever pay it pay very close attention to undoctored pictures of the giza uh, of the Sphinx in front of the second pyramid. Remember, the Sphinx is not sitting in front of the Great Pyramid. It's misdirection. The Sphinx is sitting in front of the second pyramid, which there's nothing unusual about. It does not have any of the unusual features that the Great Pyramid has. No ascendant passages, no antechamber. It has no grand gallery where a fixed mechanism went up and down in a carriage. It has no star shafts or whatever the shafts were used for, pre for pressure uh, modification, whatever they are. It has none of those things. It has no king's chamber. It has no queen's chamber. None of that. It's misdirection. The Sphinx pretty much makes important the center center pyramid. And the center pyramid, more proof of, it, of its artificiality and that it is misdirection is the fact that it's nowhere near the size of the Great Pyramid. But unless you go study the base of both monuments, you would never know that because the optical illusion shows that those pyramids are the same height, but they're not. The Great Pyramid is 481 feet high. The second pyramid is only that height because it's on a raised platform. It's not a true, it's not truly the size of the Great Pyramid. There are many, there are many tales to that, but that's, uh, I'm going into, I'm going into something else.